Hello everyone. Just have a look at all these people out there. Each one of them has a different set of skills, abilities, qualities, interests, way of thinking, way of living, way of behaving. All these things differ among each one of us. The combination of all these qualities, skills, abilities makes up one's distinct character. And this combination is known as personality. Each one of us is different from others. This is what makes us the person we are. This is what we call personality. Now as you have understood this concept of personality, let us move forward to one of the theories given on personality. So in today's session, I'm going to discuss a very important theory from your personality concept and that is the theory given by Chris Argyris. So he gave the theory called immaturity maturity theory which talks about how a person's personality develops over time. So let's discuss this very theory. According to him, a person changes over time. Think of the times when you were children and think of the situation now when you are adults. A lot has changed. There has been a major change in your personality. We have developed over time, inculcated new skills, qualities, abilities, our way of thinking, our way of living, everything has changed. So Chris Argyris focused on this very thing that over time people's personality changes. As one matures from being a child to being an adult, he inculcates in himself some maturity characteristics and those maturity characteristics show that a person's personality has developed, it has changed. Okay, so when you are an immature child and when you become a mature adult, there is a major change that comes up in your personality. So he focuses on seven important characteristics which show how a person changes over time. So when we are infants or when we are children, what are some of the characteristics we exhibit? See, we are completely dependent on our parents. We cannot do anything on our own. As we grow, we learn things, we learn how to behave, we start developing some interests. As children, we just wanted to relax, to play out with our friends, to watch TV, to play games. Okay, we were not focused on other areas of interest. But over time, when we mature, when we become more aged, we develop more new and deeper interests. We know how to behave to different things in a different manner, how to react to different situations as per the needs and requirements. So this is what Chris Argyre is focused on. According to him, when a person is immature, he has certain characteristics like he's passive, that means he's not that active, but why, when he matures, he will become more active, engage in a lot more activity, work, different types of things. Moreover, as an infant, as an immature person, one is dependent on others. But once he matures, he will become independent. He'll have the ability to do things on his own. Other characteristics of immature people or basically immature infants which he talked about include few ways of behaving vis-a-vis -vis more different ways of behaving which is a characteristic of mature people. Then as a child we have shallow interests or as an immature personal person we have some shallow interests but over time we develop more new deeper interests. We have short term perspective. As children, we never thought about that what will be our future, how we will be taking care of our family, of ourselves. But when we mature, we start thinking from a long term perspective. We think about how we will, how, what kind of a future we are going to have. We do retirement planning. We plan for our old age. We plan for our uh, medical situation. We take insurances. So all these things show we have a long term perspective as matured adults. Then the, um, in, the immature people are satisfied being at a subordinate position or they because they have some narrow interests, they are dependent on others. They are at a subordinate position. Over time when they mature, they start achieving a superior position. 
then is that being a infant we have lack of self awareness lack of self control but as we mature we learn to be aware about ourselves we get control over ourselves so these are few characteristics we he focused on which shows how a person matures from when he passes the age group of being an infant and becomes and finally becomes an adult i hope this concept this theory of personality is clear to you now